Brew, 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 brewnomics. Hey everybody out there in YouTube world, thanks for tuning in to a Brewnomics special episode series. We're going to do a March Madness beer bracket inspired by March Madness. Basketball. Basketball. College basketball? Sure. Thanks college. It's where you drink, right? <laughs> So yeah, we're having 32 different types of beers. We're going to be having five rotating judges. It's going to be the two of us, Jerry, Paula, and we'll also have Vic, Will, and Jessica. That's going to, I think, be best that way. Uh, that way we can keep kind of a variety of taste within here and not get too sloshed too fast. Don't get too fucked up. Because we have to judge. We have to judge. Got to be fair, right? <laughs> uh, and instead of having the East versus West, we're actually doing hot beer versus malty beer. Yeah. Um, first section up today, we're going to be doing the hop side. Um, but each hops or malt is going to be broken down into eight different conferences. Shall we get started? Let's drink. Let's do it. Uh, first up, both of these beers are from the great state of Oregon. We have our number one seed, the Coco Cow from Sun River, and then our number 16 seed in the hop side, the Kawanda Cream Ale from Pelican Brewing. This is an interesting one, Paul, right off the gate. Obviously, we chose these beers because in general, they're a lot of our favorite beers, right? It's the tournament, we want the best of the best. Uh, and these genuinely are some of the best of the best. It's going to be a sweet start, too. It's going to be a very sweet start, yes. And Kiwana is actually one of my favorite types of beers. Mm -hmm. So little details on each one. We did our seating based off of their untapped rating. Uh, so the number one, Coco, has a 4.19 rating. And our number 16, Kiwanda, has a 3.5 rating. Ooh. But that's pretty good if you think our lowest is starting at a 3.5. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited. We're going to drink a lot of good beer. Um, Coco, 7%. Kawanda, 5.4%. And then IBUs, we have 25 with the Kawanda and 28 with the Coco. So we're right there. But instead of talking about it, let's drink about it, huh? Let's drink about it. Let's start with the number 16. Cheers. Oh, it's good all day. It's super, super yummy. I put this down, don't I? Well, I mean, eventually. Oh wow, what a different, different beer. So light, so frothy, thick, thick, viscous beer. Oh, they, it really is. Wow, that's an adult chocolate milk. It, it completely is. There. But that is a dark chocolate milk though. And there are two sweeter types of beers as well, two different types of sweet. But here's the interesting thing to me is the, uh, this is a dessert beer, oh, yeah. the cocoa. Right. The Kawanda, I actually feel like I could drink pretty much whenever. It's not just dessert, I could drink right. it all day, a lot more drinkable. Uh, complexity and flavor, more drinkable throughout the day. This is a tough one already. Woo! Oh. Obviously, I, I, I buy this particular beer, Kawanda, year-round. Ah, uh, you do, or actually. <laughs> you do quite a bit. Um, it's also, if we go price-wise, I don't remember, like, price to price, but this is, like, if we're doing, like, a $1 to $3 sign, this is a $1 sign, and this is a $3 sign also. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a big difference between that. Um, but ultimately, there's really only one question, Paul. Who moves on? What are you thinking, JB? Who's taking your fancy most? When it comes to the beer that is genuinely the better beer, the one if I'm going to recommend a beer, talk about a beer, uh, the one that moves on, it's got to be the cocoa. Yeah. Yeah, when it comes to the more complexity, um, Something that you would want your friends to try something different. Absolutely. Definitely the cow. It's a little bit cow. more of a conversational beer for sure, mm -hmm. I think. It's going to get people talking, and that I like about it. And as much as I do love my, my cream ale, my Kiwanda cream ale specifically, yeah, 
I do say the cacao as well. Oh, all because right. Because it's so unique as a beer. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people should try this beer. It, make, it makes sense too, obviously with that 4.19 rating, the people that have really like it. So, congrats, moving on. Good job, cacao. High five to you. Oh, I thought we were high fiving then. No, I didn't know what I was there. doing. I'm already drunk. Alright, I need this beer back though. Next!